That is so kind of you. There's places in the city here, it behooves you to sound a bit Frencher. <laughs> I got her down. So whenever possible, my theory, I just try and work in the phrase, bleh. <laughs> it's a godsend. As soon as they sit down, are you comfortable? Bleh. Eh? <laughs> ah, yeah. You, you look incredible. It's all, it's all in the cheek. <laughs> Holy smokes, I'm talking a romance language. <laughs> Let's do a recap. Bleh, bleh, and bleh. I love French. I listen to French folks talk. It sounds like a vat of maple syrup coming to a boy. <laughs> bleh, 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 bleh. Canadian. <laughs> I'm a citizen of Canada. I'm everywhere. We're doing this now in Canada, growing non-indigenous animals on the farm. I was out in Saskatchewan driving through. This is so bizarre. I saw a llama farm. Not really adapted to the environment, hey? Eh? Llamas <laughs> standing there with a four-foot-long neck. I mean, no offense, but what do they have to look over? <laughs> Them Saskatchewan llamas got a pretty good view. <laughs> you know, on, on a clear day, <laughs> they can look out and see their own buttocks. <laughs> You know, to me, more strange, northern Alberta in February, I'm driving along, I see an ostrich farm. Oh, geez, they're fitting in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seamless, fresh from the savannas of Africa. You had to wonder what the barnyard chit-chat would have been like the previous few days. Do you, do you find it a little nippy today? <laughs> I mean, I'm growing fur. That's wrong for a bird. I went to stick my head in the sand, I knocked myself out. You gotta, you gotta love animals. I just got a puppy, I'm not kidding, just recently got a puppy. Thank you. It's pricey, if you didn't know. Having a dog in the city, this veterinarian kept gouging me. I think she used to work at Mr. Lube. There was always a new option. <laughs> she said for an added charge, she'd be more than happy to uh, surgically implant a computer chip <laughs> in my dog under his skin. So I asked this woman, why would I want a computer chip in my dog? She goes, you know, so you can find him. I said, lady, you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get a rope. <laughs> yeah. well, people come over to the house, gosh, Derek, where's your dog? Oh yeah, he's at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think I saved 200 bucks. <laughs> and life at home. Things have changed, you know. I, I remember in my little part of Toronto where I'm living, there used to be a lot of little stores, and then this, this huge thing moved in called Loblaws. It, it could be a French outfit, I'm not sure. But Loblaws. And the, you cannot believe the stuff they will sell you. What do you need, a massage? <laughs> Gasoline, a flu shot, a bank loan? Christmas tree, come on down to the grocery store. They're like greedy as hell and shameless. And these crazy sales in the Toronto Star. This week at Loblaws, 50 pound bags of potatoes, $5.99. They put in brackets, three bag limit. <laughs> what? what? You're gonna open a chip truck? What's, what's the deal with the, at what point in time did 150 pounds of potatoes become some disappointment? 
I mean, who got mad? Some, somebody must have lost it at the cashier once. Three, what? Is this some kind of joke? What do I do with the other 18 bags? So I'll never know how many potatoes it takes to fill up the bathroom, will I? Oh. <laughs> it's a strange and spooky place. There's single folks in my neighborhood that gotta go to that store. That's their only option, everything else is bankrupt. <laughs> they gotta go with a single person's list to Loblaws. Okay, what do I need? Bread and milk. Oh God, look at the signs. It's like, it'll take you 10 minutes to find the bread, and then you gotta ask directions. <laughs> hey, excuse me, where do you keep the milk? Oh geez, I've never been up that way. So, you know, basically you're going north, northeast. You want to veer around the canned fish, past the lawn chairs, towards the beans. You'll see a bearded man with a staff. <laughs> He'll ask you three riddles. <laughs> Worst possibly is these gifty craft shops that flourish in tourist season. You know these places, even the name makes men upset. You go, there's a real place in town, dreams in a basket. Oh, click, damn it. Hey, this is real, I saw one. Oh gosh, look, it's the knick-knack No. You, and the girl, my dear girl, she goes, she's floating through heaven. And I'm standing there like any guy. How did they amass this much garbage in one room? Was there a yard sale at an asylum? Uh, the proprietor once found me. I'm in one of these places, just so tense. And I get this thing here. You know, it's a bit of something. It doesn't hurt, but it's a bit. And, uh, and she's going, I noticed you looking around. What would you like to buy here today? Oh, geez, I'm torn. I don't know whether to go with the wicker canoe or, or the stained glass hammer. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love boating, but I dearly love to hit you with something. <laughs> you guys are great. Remarkable.